Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Daxon here. And uh, so it's been a few years since I made a how-to guide on how to use Hulu and I got hundreds of thousands of views. So I decided it was time to make another video on people that are new to Hulu, considering getting Hulu. I'm kinda gonna show you through it and a few things as we go along. So first here, we are on a Roku device. See the Roku remote like this. We use our arrows and we will navigate here on our home screen to Roku to the Hulu app. You'll see the Hulu app open up. And uh, also, by the way, I have it muted right now so you won't hear any other sounds besides me. Uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to hear someone talking over other sounds. But anyway, <clears throat> you can make a profile and this is just our main adult profile. You can also make a, a, a children's one, as you've seen on that screen, if you want to, um, and it'll show only kid-appropriate content. So you push the left arrow, which is this left arrow over here, on your Roku remote, as soon as the Hulu app opens, and you'll get this menu over here, and you can use the up and down arrows to navigate. So first you have your search, you have your home, which is already on the the uh, home screen of the Hulu app. You have your Hulu Live TV. And then you can sort by things that are on demand by going to TV here, movies, sports. My stuff is where things that you have recorded or saved will be. Um, you have hubs that you can create. Most people don't really do that. And then you have settings to control different various settings of the Hulu app itself. So we go back up here, and I'll, I can use the right arrow and get back out of that. This is what our Hulu main screen looks like. So it goes off of things that it thinks you might like, or things that you have started watching, stuff like that. This is just the home screen. Now so far as getting to the live TV, as I mentioned um, a few minutes ago here, you can push the left arrow now, and it'll open up that menu guide. And then you're able to go to the live portion and click on the live button. It'll load up whatever channel you was most recently watching. And you can see you can just scroll through the guide here. We're using the up and down arrows. And whatever you want to watch, basically, you're able to push the OK button. So I'll click on that. And then it'll give you a little menu pop-up. You have Watch Live, Start Over, which lets you start over from the beginning of this, this Watch Live, which is really cool if you've missed on the show. Um, there's also a record. It'll allow you to record that and then show details. Show details. This shows a few other things. Um, and it'll show you like all the on-demand too that you're able to go to. So if I go back here and I click on say Spongebob, it'll open up this little menu here again. We can just click OK on the remote to watch live. And it'll load here for a couple seconds. And it's pretty quick. We have fiber internet so we have like 120 megabits per second or something like that. And a lot of people have faster internet. I do recommend at least 20 megabits per second internet. Um, you can see the quality is, is actually really good with this live streaming. It used to be more of a problem, but uh, like I said, with faster internet and updates of Hulu's done. One downfall Hulu is uh, we've had this for three, maybe four years now. Um, and the price has increased like four or five times. Each time it's by like five dollars, but still gets frustrating. You know the economy is a little poor right now, but uh, anyway, it's kind of frustrating when people are already kind of struggling to have money, and then they keep increasing it. So again, this is our live TV guide here. <clears throat> now you can see this is recent. This will go off of the channels that you have most recently watched. I think it shows like the top ten or something like that. But when we push the left arrow, we can go back over to this little menu and you can see your recents. And then channels shows all the available channels. And you can also um, check through with the few categories they have, like they have one for sports, one for news, one for movies, and then the kids channels. So what I'm gonna do now is go up to channels. You can just click okay and click on it and it'll show you all the channels now. So what I'm going to do, um, like I did in the previous video, and I think it helps people, um, is go through and list off all the channels. I'm going to try to make it quick, um, but also to where you can understand what I'm saying. Um, a few channels I'm not familiar with, so I may uh, pronounce them incorrectly, so forgive me for that. Um, 
Let's see what else. Okay, so I'm gonna go down through this guide now, and oh, the other thing I was gonna say is a few channels, like this is our AV, ABC 17, which is KMIZ here. It depends on where you're at locally. This is North Central Missouri, so it's gonna be different based upon your zip code for some of the live channels anyway. So the first one we can go through now here is A&E, local channel. This is ABC local-ish, which I'm not familiar with that. ABC News Live, ACCN, Adult Swim East, Adult Swim West, Animal Planet, BET, Big Ten Network, there's two of them, Bloomberg Television, Bravo, Cartoon Network East and West, that's a local channel, CBS News, Sports Network, Cheddar News, CMT, CNBC, CNN, there's also a CNN International, I'm not sure what this is, Comedy Central maybe, Comedy.TV, and we have uh, Cozy TV, Dabble, Discovery, Disney Channel, Disney Junior, Disney XD, E Channel, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN News, ESPNU, a lot of ESPNs there. You also get the Food Network. Here's also a local Fox channel, Fox Business, Fox News, Freeform, FS1, FS2, FX, FXM, FXX. Those are all movie channels. <clears throat> and then you also have FYI, Game Show Channel, or Game Show Network, excuse me. Get, this must be a new one. It looks like it's playing older shows. Golf. Hallmark Channel, Hallmark uh, Mystery and Movies, I believe that one is, HGTV, HLN, um, ID, uh, Justice, that looks like a newer one here, it looks like Court Shows, Lifetime, LMN, Magnolia Network, MT, MSNBC, MTV, a NASA Channel, National Geographic Wild, and then the Basic National Geographic, this is a local channel. Um, this is a news channel for us here. Um, this is a home channel, NBC News Now, News Nation, NFL Network, um, Nick Jr., Nickelodeon, OWN, Oxygen, Paramount Network, PBS Kids, POP, QVC, SEC, ESPN. Here's a Smithsonian channel, Start TV, Sci-Fi, TBS East and West, TCM East and West. Uh, Telemundo, that's a Spanish channel, I believe, there. And then there's C the CW, History, Weather Channel, the Grio, not familiar with that. TLC, TNT East and West, a travel channel, True TV East and West, TV Land, Universal Kids, USA. And then these are some Vivo music channels. There's a country, hip hop, pop, VH1, and Vice. So. The uh, channel list is pretty lengthy. Lengthy. There's also some add-ons. You can get like HBO and stuff if you want to pay extra. Also, something else with getting Hulu Live is you also have um, the Disney Channel app, which I'll have to make another video on that, or maybe someone else has one. Um, but that's also included in your subscription. So that's pretty much all I can think of. Um, it all comes down to using the basic arrows here on the Roku remote. At any time you want to get out of this guide, you can push the back arrow up here on the remote. This one, sorry, it's not focusing there. This little arrow up here, you can push that and it'll take us back to the show you're watching. If you push it again, it'll pull up our guide here. So if we want to go back to like the Hulu, uh, the Hulu um, home screen, we can navigate just like that. We want to go back to a show. These are things that uh, are live now that um, based upon the channels we have been watching. Anytime you want to access your guide while you're watching live TV, you simply push the down arrow and it'll pull up the guide. And it, by default, it's always going to show you your most recent things, which is kind of nice. And again, you go over to the left and go to the channels. And again, it's going to show us all of our channels. So that's it for this video. If anyone has any questions, feel free to leave a comment on this video. Don't forget to check out one of our websites. It's all about um, technology and the latest tech devices, things like that. It is called devicejunkies.com. I'll put a uh, link to that in the description in the comments of this video. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if this is helpful at all. 
See you later and have a good day.